Well, I'm out here enjoying a typical Seattle summer day. It's a balmy 65 degrees out. It's warmed up a couple of degrees since I've uh, gotten up this morning, which is good. And um, yeah, yeah, typical Seattle summer day. Something that I came to realize last fall is that I need to spend more time out in nature. Seems like most of the time, as soon as the weekend comes and I have a couple of days off, I take the easy way out and I just head into the city. And living out of a van in the city is easy. It's really easy. You don't have to think ahead about anything. Whatever you want is usually within feet or blocks uh, from where you park. But of course, the city is not the greatest place to be. And especially this year, I realized that I really need to get back to that promise I made to myself to get out into nature. So I've been doing a lot of that lately. I've really been fortunate that I've been able to do a lot of that lately. Uh, it hasn't been a good year this year, obviously, to get out and do much. But over the last few weeks, I've been kind of all over the state. Uh, I've been to Mount Rainier. I've been up to uh, Mount Baker, up north to Mount Baker area. And this last weekend, I went to my favorite place to go, my absolute favorite place to go here in Washington state, out to the Olympics. So my favorite way to drive out to the Olympics from the Seattle area is to drive out the Hood Canal Bridge. And the whole way out is just a really beautiful trip. So it's a little bit of a long trip, but it's absolutely enjoyable the whole way through. So fortunately, I was able to find one of the nicest dispersed campsites that I know of uh, available. Uh, so that was a nice find. Although I should say that I was a little bit nervous that it was going to be taken. And I was nervous because I actually sent uh, Brian, better known as Adventure Van Man, uh, the coordinates for that spot. And so I was kind of hoping he wasn't there and I was kind of hoping that he didn't get that text message but luckily uh, got the spot Brian wasn't to be found nor anybody else so uh, I've learned my lesson though don't ask me where that spot is because I'm not going to give it away to anybody else and uh, hopefully Brian won't tell anybody where it is either but um, or maybe he didn't get the text message which would be an even better bit of uh, of of luck on my part well, one of the greatest things about this little dispersed camping spot is not only is it really private, uh, but it doesn't have any cell phone coverage. So I didn't have to worry about getting a text message or phone call. I didn't have the need to look at my phone for a few days, and that was glorious. Now, what was not glorious was the weather. The first couple of days, the weather was not very nice. Uh, it was cold and wet and uh, didn't seem to want to stop raining. But I don't know what it is about the Olympics. I guess just because I figure it is a rainforest after all that um, I kind of expect it to be wet and rainy. Uh, would have been nice if it was just a little bit warmer, but hey, I shouldn't complain because it was absolutely beautiful. Looking at those clouds covering the mountains and just breathing in all that clean air was just really what I needed. Well, in an effort to enjoy the trails a little bit better, I stopped and bought myself some new hiking shoes.
At this point, I was sure an Ewok was going to jump out from around a tree at any moment. But unfortunately, I didn't see any. The Ewoks kept to themselves. Well, if you know me, you know that I've been looking for the perfect house to settle down in. And I thought I found it a few years back up near Lone Pine, California, right on the 395. But you know, I don't want to be in California anymore, so I've been looking and I finally found probably the next perfect house. I mean, that, that house in 395 was perfect, but this I think is the next perfect house. So, yep. I'm giving up van life for this, the second perfect house in the world. So I can't call this the perfect house. You know, the perfect house is on 395 near Lone Pine. If you happen to be driving by there, please stop and check it out. Let me know if it's okay. Because if it is, I might move back. Because this house is, isn't exactly perfect. I mean, it's close. Uh, there's a nice little fire pit here. And, you know, there's plenty of seating. There's a little uh, kitchen area there. And I don't know who, uh, who left all this firewood, but, you know, plenty of firewood here. So, be nice and warm. But it might be a bit drafty. And it is missing the fourth wall. So, this is not exactly the perfect house, but look at this view. You know, this is almost as good as Lone Pine. Almost. So Saturday was definitely a soup kind of day, and I had lots of clouds to look at and enjoy. But Sunday, Sunday things changed. 